What up, what up? It's your boy AD back in the spot, and that's all day. Finna talk about Golden State victory, you know, last night. Finna talk about that real quick. My hair all on crazy mode right now. I know, man, because I had to take my stuff out, wash my stuff or whatever. So I'm probably going to get some braids again soon or something like that. But, um, yeah, man, so they won, man. Now, in my last video, that's where I tweet. I must have had read an old article, and I wasn't paying attention to the the exact, well, you know, what their record was, because I know it's 82 games, but for some reason, I tweet and read an old article, and it confused me a little bit with my what I was saying in the last video, because the last video, I was talking about them tying it, and it kind of threw me off, even though I was still kind of right, because I was saying, like, yeah, Golden State basically is going to win their last game. I did say that, and it's going to be hype. I just forgot that they already tagged just to catch all up on what, what that was about last video. So this one is coming from a, a better perspective because now, you know, they beat the Bulls record and now, you know, is, and this is playoff time now. And um, now <laughs> the first thing to talk about is this is the first thing like, man, OK, so Golden State beat the Bulls record, you know. That has got to be an amazing feat in basketball, right? But at the same time, though, at the same time, it's like, do you really believe that Golden State is was better than the old Chicago Bulls thing? That's the first thing that I think about. Like, like, can you really believe that? Like, even if the sports, you know, even though the sports back then when MJ and them was playing, obviously were kind of, you know, rigged and fixed, kind of, you know, like they are now. Maybe not as much, but still, you, I do believe that those games back then were kind of set up, too. I, I won't deny that. And I'm, I'm a fucking huge MJ fan, well, was anyways. But, you know... Even though all of that, I still think that the Chicago Bulls team, you know, they still were a team. I still think they were better than this Golden State Warrior team. I, don't, I just don't find this Golden State Warrior team being better than the Bulls. The Bulls were playing where people, you know, back then people did play a little bit more hardcore and rougher and stuff. They let them do a little bit more on defense. It's like the older you go back in basketball, it's like the more realistic it kind of looked to me. Like I say, even though it all could have been fake and set up, but it's just, I will admit, it did look better, man. Because that's what really got me hyped in basketball when I first started playing. And then I started going on YouTube and stuff. This was years ago. This was probably about like 2008, 2009. I started going on YouTube and stuff. Right, this is before I even made this channel. And then uh, I'm looking up old, you know, basketball players that you didn't even know, you know, because that was like way before our time, you know, even before MJ. And I was like, man, man, that got me even more interested because I was like, wow, it was some really good people that you never got a chance to see. But. I'm just saying this, just to let people know, man, like, I don't think so, and that's why I'm saying this adds into the hype bandwagon, like, now, here we go, man, here we go, man, you know, Muzz is already saying, like, oh, for real, because this is kind of true, like, this is gonna be, like, the Carolina thing, it, it, I really do believe that, shouts out to the commenter who said that in the last video, like, it's gonna be like that, and I feel the same way, because they finna hype on this bandwagon train, that, come on now, this is like, the ultimate bandwagon train right now. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I wouldn't even be surprised if there was a whole bunch of people coming in here talking mess, especially if I titled it against them. Just random people. I, I wouldn't be surprised because now they got people on bandwagon mode. They won last year against LeBron and them. So now they look really good now. This year, what? Uh, Steph Curry leading and scoring, right, leading and scoring, so that makes him look great, they making Steph Curry look like he a magician when he out there, man, like real talk, they make him look like he a magician when he come to that shooting, man, so I mean, I'm, I, he probably is a great shooter, but it's just something crazy about what's going on and what's happening with these players, it's definitely something weird and how they be getting these games to play out. And I'm not even no bandwagon fan, I'm not a hater. Like I say, I don't, I don't ride no team nuts. I just call it how I see it. I don't ride nobody nuts. I don't ride no teams. Not a bandwagon fan. Even though we finna, we know it's finna be hell a bandwagon fan. So get ready, y'all. It's the playoffs. Get ready now.
get ready for everyone to be behind Golden State. Just just, just right now, just get that on your brain because it's going to happen, man. I don't even know how many times they might lose. Now, that's something to think about. This is a question to my viewers of this video. How many times do you think they're going to lose, though, in the playoffs before they get to the finals? Because I do believe they're going to make it to the finals. But if they were, how many times do you think they're going to lose? Do you think they're, they might not lose not one game? Do you think that they might sweep them till they get to the end? Something to think about. I don't know. I gotta look at the teams they playing against, man. But it, it, to me, it don't matter who they playing against. It really don't, cause you know, what it, whatever happens, what happens, you know. And I don't know, man. It's a possibility. Like if they did that, they they swept them. That's just something else to think about. Because if that happened, that would be wild. Like, just imagine they just swept the first team, you know, swept everyone to the finals, and then they get to the finals. And you never even know. They might win the first game, and then boom, they lose. Boom. Like, do you know how? And they're going to probably blame it on winning too much. You know how they do that, too, sometimes in the sports leagues? They say, oh, they winning too much. So when they lose, it just makes you, you know, lose your winning spirit, you know, or momentum or whatever. They might blame it on that. Like, well, you know, they haven't lost in a while. Then you never know, man. Because right now, yeah, man, like I said, Cavs, Golden State. Wow, you know, they they won. Okay, Golden State, y'all won, man. Y'all won. Y'all broke the record. Did y'all see? I know it's a little off topic, but I'm going to talk about this for a second. Did y'all see Kobe last night? Did y'all see him go out there and score 60 points? It was a darn tweet, I think, that went out or something before the game even came talking about somebody would give someone $20 in their pay PayPal accounts if they like this video or the tweet. And if um Kobe scored more than 45 points, and that's crazy, right? Because he ended up scoring 60, but in my opinion, not surprising, though, you know. I'm not surprised Kobe goes out and scores 60 points. It was probably more than likely planned for him to score that 60 points. How many times did he scored that this year? But, oh, magically in his last game. They always want you to believe in some movie storyline shit. And what I find disappointing is, is how Kobe played for so long. You know, he done done a lot for this L.A. team. Played his whole career at L.A., but won't even let him leave on top. You see, the league won't even let him leave on top, unlike other certain people we know. But, nope, you see. I mean, yeah, he left with a win. I mean, he left, but he was still kind of healthy when he left. But, again, didn't leave with a ring, though. Some I feel kind of like, whoa, you know, like, damn, Kobe is not finna leave with no ring. But back to Golden State, man. Again, man. Golden State, sorry, don't like y'all. I'm not hyped up about y'all. Not hype. I'm not fascinating y'all team. I mean, y'all some decent players. Y'all got some good, decent shooters. You know what I'm saying? But I don't see y'all winning. We gonna see how many times y'all win this regular. Well, in the uh, playoffs, we gonna see if y'all pick maybe one or two losses up, or should maybe even streak it, man. I know that sounds crazy, but maybe even streak it until the finals, just to just. You know, because you know if that happens, we already know, man. We already know. There's going to be so many people riding them, just like with that Panthers, Carolina. There's going to be so many people riding Carolina. I mean, you know it's bad, right? When everywhere you look, like I said, you go on TV, you go on talk shows, you go on radio, people in the streets, and it's to the point where it's everywhere hitting you from all angles, you know something is up with that. Why is y'all telling us this? And you see it didn't even happen. Didn't and I never thought that they was gonna win anyways. I already knew Cam Newton was gonna fall out acting all like how he did. I knew it. I called it before it even happened. If you look back at my videos, I called it. Before he I knew exactly how he was gonna act and everything. Cause I already seen it. It is it, it's, it's it's sad, man. But anyways, man, like this video, comment, tell me what you think. Not gonna try to make this too long. And, um, you know, just hit your boy up, man, because I'm going to be back. Got to do this Empire Review, and I'm probably going to try to talk a little bit more about the NBA now since it's the playoff time. And, you know, you know, I really prefer the wait to the, when it gets close. I, regular season is kind of – I don't really talk about that much unless I see something, you know, off the wall, like a lot of these fake injuries. But, um, yeah, I'll see you all later. Peace.